How to set CLinux policy state and mode on Linux with Ansible? I'm going to show you in a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Berton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. What is CLinux? Security Enhanced Linux, CLinux, is a Linux kernel security module that provides a mechanism for supporting access control security policy, including mandatory access control, MAC. Let's quickly recap the free CLinux mode, enforcing, permissive and disable. The enforce mode is the recommended C Linux is enabled and fully operates. It applies the security policy on the entire system. Please note that in this mode, C Linux is expected to deny some action that doesn't complain the security policy. You could choose the name of the security policy. Most distributions use the targeted security policy out of the box. It's the recommended option for production system. The permissive mode is some way in the middle. C Linux is enable and load the security policy. Enable object and emit access denial entries in the logs, but it doesn't actually deny any operation. This mode is useful in development and debugging. The Disable mode completely disables the C Linux system. This option is discouraged, but might be useful when you are very desperate. Most advanced users set the system running in enforcing mode, but individual domain as permissive. Today we are talking about Ansible module CLinux. The full name is ansible.posix.clinux, which means that it is part of a collection of modules to interact with POSIX system. It's a module pretty stable and out for years and it manages CLinux policy. It supports a huge variety of Linux distribution and in general POSIX system. It requires libc linux python or python3 library installed on the target machine. But nowadays everybody has on the most modern operating system. Parameters. Let's see the parameter of the C Linux Ansible module. The only required is state, that is the C Linux mode. For this parameter, the three options are available, enforcing, permissive and disable. When the system is in enforcing and permissive mode, you need to specify also the policy to enable. The parameter policy is designed for this purpose. For example, targeted policy. By default, all these values apply to the C Linux configuration file saved in slash etc slash C Linux slash config. You could customize using the config file parameter. Demo. Let's jump in a real life Ansible playbook about how to set C Linux policy state and mode on Linux. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to change a policy and apply effectively on a system. So, first of all, let's begin our play with a name C Linux module demo that is going to target the hosts all of my inventory. I need the root privilege to change this permission, so become true. 
and let me define also two useful variables that are clinux underscore state in my case I want the enforcing policy yes I think it's time to use it and clinux underscore policy and the name of the policy in my case targeted if you want to use a strict you need to install before on your system on the task list only one item in my case uh, let me define a name c linux uh, with a capital letter in the right place yes policy and state here we go and we are going to use ansible.posix.clinux module with two argument first parameter is going to be state that will be the value of the variable clinux underscore state here we go and uh, policy second parameter with uh, the value of clinux policy and now i have a big surprise for you let me use the notify because i need to perform some action on the change so relabel and reboot yes we need to really to verify that clinux is performing the relabel task and make sure that this is going to happen to apply effectively on the system so i'm going to use a handler to do this two job and exactly i'm going to use two different handlers one for relabel and one for reboot so let's begin with a relabel so name relabel files on next boot here we go and i need to use ansible.builtin.file module this action is very special i need to create this file like a slash dot auto relabel and with a state i need to put touch here we go mm, on the when uh, i need to create only this file when c linux underscore state not equal state here we go yes c linux underscore state is different from disable because uh, only when c linux is fully loaded i need to perform this action and let me define this parameter listen on the notify action that is relabel and reboot so in this way i'm going i'm able to target two different handlers with only one name and the next step is to reboot effectively the host so ansible.builtin.reboot this is we already know this module and if we don't know let's jump to the lesson uh, listen relabel and reboot uh, so in a few line of code i'm able to apply a enforcing policy uh, an enforcing c linux state with a policy targeted and if there is a change of policy i'm going also to relabel all the file on the system and reboot so after this playbook is executed i'm 100 percent sure that my host is using the enforcing policy and is actually running on the enforcing policy are you excited let's go to the console to have a look how to transition from one another policy to enforcing welcome to my console i will show you how to transition a host from permissive 
to enforcing policy. So, first of all, let me connect via SSH to my demo machine that is, I'm going to log in with DevOps and then become a root. So, get enforce is the command to verify the current cell Linux policy that is permissive and another useful command is CA status that give you a perfect overview of the current C Linux status policy and all the other details. As you can see, we are on permissive uh, we are on permissive mode and we would like to move to enforcing with my playbook. So Ansible dash playbook let me add dashi my current uh, inventory and uh, the path of my playbook c linux policy mode here we go in uh, the execution is going to start i'm expecting one change status on the policy then as you can see ansible is running the handler because uh, is target the relabel, so the creating of a special file for the file system and the reboot policy. On the reboot is going to take a while because the system need to expression all the file on the file system and apply the correct C Linux label. This is a crucial moment because otherwise C Linux can't execute correctly his work. As you could understand, this is very important to evaluate every policy on the system. So it's going to take a while, it depends by the performance of your machine and also the amount of file in your file system. In my case, uh, it's a pretty new machine, so I'm expecting really not a lot of time, so it's just a fresh machine with no service running and almost nothing, and it's done. We have a free change status, and let me also show you the hidden potency of this script. So if the machine is already in enforcing state, I'm expecting only one OK status and no further action on this machine. So let me rerun the same exact code on the same host and as you can see we have only OK status. So it's a great module. So let me double check the result on my target machine. So again let me connect via SSH, DevOps is my username and demo example.com is my host name. Oh, yes, I need also a dot between demo and example.com. Here we go. I'm in, in the system sudo su, let me become root and let me execute again get, get enforce. This time the system is en, in enforcing state and with C status I can verify that the C Linux is currently enabled and is watching all the things in my system. We have also some more detail about the policy and all the other stuff. But uh, the important things is that we successfully transition from uh, one previous policy to enforces with target policy correctly loaded. So, great job, Hansible! Now you know how to set C Linux policy state and mode on Linux with Ansible. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this adventure, keep up to date on the next one of Ansible Pilot in the IT world. And of course, give me, give me a thumbs up, send a feedback, a comment, or whatever you want. See you! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for 
uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.